it's time for your weekly horoscope for the coming seven days. And should you ever wish to get a session with me, you do need to go to my website. It's integrativemysticism.com. Or of course, you may follow the links below. Also, for those of you who enjoyed the incoming waves, well, those are on videos of their very own. And I've just put up a new one recently. And it's under a playlist of its very own on the main channel page. And if you want to check that out, you can click on my avatar beneath this video, or you can open up the links in the down bar below. So what is going on when it comes to this coming week for you? Well, this week's primary theme or main influencer or archetypal theme is the moon upright. And I get a very distinct feeling of reality flipping going on with the moon card because suddenly a lot of your environment, a lot of the people you're interacting with, and a lot of the options and maybe projects you've got going on are taking on other forms. Now, this is ultimately another side of a truth, but possibly at the same time, a chance to kind of change a lot of directions or forms that things take on because so much is in flux with the moon. This reality flipping is, in a sense, a way to kind of invert what already is there into operating in a completely different way or take on a completely different life. I am sensing that this is actually a very positive moon card this week. Normally the moon is very much neutral, it could go either way, but in this case I'm actually seeing this as everything kind of behaving as almost its own flip, its own opposite. But what I'm also gathering from this moon card upright is that there is a deeper mental connection going on where a lot of interactions that you have with people are actually going to be incredibly beneficial because people are actually reading essentially your mind, reading your thoughts, reading your intentions, and making their choices and actions accordingly. Now, what I like about this moon card upright is that we are also seeing situations that have maybe been stuck a certain way, flipping to actually start to behave the opposite way. And this could ultimately turn into something overwhelmingly positive, and I feel like it's mostly that. And yes, there is a chance with the moon card upright that there is a flip going back and forth, and again, that reality flux, that reality flipping is ultimately going to be a little bit confusing in the beginning because people are going to be behaving almost like they're complete strangers. But this may actually be something that you can nurture in order to positively reinforce the changes you do like seeing. Take this week to allow yourself to get what you want even though it seems as though it's out of character or out of the ordinary for everything to be behaving as such. Everything is taking on a completely new way of interacting with you. In fact, as we have the Knight of Cups upright when it comes to your work or maybe your uh, financial or material concerns, your household concerns, somebody is going out of their way to make a gesture with some kind of gift, some kind of hookup, some kind of opportunity that is ultimately going to be immediately workable and usable right now as it relates to maybe a circumstance where you could use the assistance, but you've not necessarily been asking for it. In fact, the Knight of Cups is presenting you with some kind of bonus as it relates to maybe your own material wealth, your material abundance, or possibly a bonus as it relates to a shift you are trying to make in your quality of life relating to this area of your cards. What I like about the Knight of Cups, though, is that this is actually a sincere and very personal and personalized gesture, maybe a different way to offer you a new opportunity or a new road to your own personal abundance and material aspirations or professional aspirations. This person seems to have thought of it all. What I like about the Knight of Cups is that this is also somebody attempting to get closer to you in a very strong and loyal way. Allow yourself to see how this unfolds. It could be a bit mysterious in the beginning because of that moon, and it may even be somebody acting completely out of character. But with the Knight of Cups being upright, it is still sincere. Going into friends and family with the Eight of Cups upright, 
we definitely see a big shift or a big attitude turn as it relates to a friend or family member. But in this case, it does look like this alteration of their beliefs, this alteration of their perspective, or maybe something that they have held steadfast to, has now flipped in a way where they are abandoning something that they have clung to for dear life. And I get that sense that this might be something that you are wanting for them, even if it's something that can leave you feeling a little bit disheartened, disappointed. At the end of the day, I'm feeling with the Eight of Cups upright, you are almost happy to wish them well or bid them safe travels as they move on away from the situation that has been their normal. Now, it, I don't see them necessarily going away off to disappear forever, but this does look like a situation where a person is having very much a moon moment where they are uh, deciding to flip their entire reality, their entire focus, or once again, even their entire mission statement on its head. And it could be that they are deciding to actually leave something that they share with you or leave something that they have clung to, again, for dear life, that has ultimately been holding them back or possibly even something that's been a detriment or a liability to you as well. So there's a bitter sweetness about this card, but I urge you to allow the transition to take its course. As we get to the Queen of Cups for your relationships, well, we have an interesting turn of events where it looks like possibly uh, a partner or maybe even uh, somebody else in your life is taking an active interest in trying to help you get control of something that you've been sort of on your own with. Now, for those of you who are available or looking for other people or looking for a new relationship, this could easily be a friend or even a neighbor, a coworker, who is actually going out of their way to put you in the path of another. For those of you who are in existing relationships or in established relationships, I feel like a partner is doing very much the same thing. However, they are doing so by getting themselves involved in maybe putting you in the path for your career or something going on with family because the Queen of Cups is trying to take on something with you or for you that you had originally reserved completely for yourself. And with the Moon card involved here, it could very well be that this person had been maybe watching you or maybe been sort of leaving it to you, letting it be alone, and has had a big change of heart about how they want to invest or maybe express their interest in you in a different way. We have an alteration to how they want to go about supporting you and seeing this through with you. So that is what I've got for you. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. You know I appreciate it. And should you ever want to get a session, go to my website. It's called integrativemysticism.com.